If you recall, last time we started talking about the change in energy of the system and how that was equal to the energy transferred into or out of the system. This is a general equation, one that you need to be aware of. The change in energy of the system equals the sum, that's the sum of, and the T, T stands for the energy transferred into or out of the system. So, on the left, this is going to be equal to the change in mechanical energy of the system plus the change in internal energy of the system. On the right, in general, this is the work done by the force applied. Generally, we transfer energy into and out of the system with a force applied. Now, if there is no force applied, then the work done by the force applied is equal to zero. If there is no friction, you should recall that the change in internal energy of the system was equal to the negative of the work due to friction. So if there's no friction, then the change in internal energy of the system is equal to zero. And what we get is that the change in mechanical energy of the system equals zero. Or mechanical energy final minus mechanical energy initial equals zero. Or mechanical energy final equals mechanical energy initial. Which should look familiar. It is called conservation of energy. So notice, last year, in order to have conservation of energy, there needed to be no friction. That was not an entire picture, however. Something else needs to be true in order to have conservation of energy. What is that? I just went through the derivation. You should be able to see it there. <coughs> He's not seeing it. Help him out. Sarah Jane. No force applied. No force applied. So, in order to have conservation of energy, you need to have no force of friction and no force applied. So, no force applied and no force of friction. Conservation of energy. Now, notice conservation of energy is not on your equation sheet. 